February 26, 2019. That's when the general election for the next Chicago mayor is being held. The election is nonpartisan, which means there aren't primaries for either political party. So right now there are 21 candidates who have declared a run. But if no one gets more than 50% of the vote, the top two vote getters face off in a runoff election a month later on April 2nd, 2019. A month of campaigning head to head. That's probably what we're headed towards and it's gonna get really messy. Let's see who the candidates are. We need to talk about something. I'm not going to introduce all 21 candidates to you. That's just too many and not very helpful. So how do I decide who to bring up? There's the ideal way. Yeah, this would be ideal to see who's polling the best and only introduce the relevant candidates. The only problem is there isn't a public poll out there with all 21 candidates. So that's out of the question, which brings us to another option. For this video, I'm only going to focus on the candidates who I think have a realistic chance of winning this race. There are going to be other situations like this when I can't be as scientific as I'd like, and I'll have to use my own discretion to make things a little clear. Which brings up a bigger point. I have biases. I'm human, and I'm political, and a young progressive, so I naturally think that some candidates will be better mayors than others. That doesn't mean I can't provide verifiable facts to you and let you decide how you want to weigh them. But I'm not going to shy away from sharing my own opinions because I think that's part of my role here. But I'll make sure those two things, facts and opinion, are very clearly distinguished. I want to be as responsible as I can here. And while we're talking about responsibility, I want to make sure that I cite as often as I can. So I'm going to put a number up in the top right hand corner of the screen that'll correspond to articles that you can check out in the description down below. So if I say a fun fact, like, unless we take unprecedented measures in reducing our greenhouse gas emissions, global temperatures could reach an irreversible tipping point in 12 years. Anyway, let's get back to, let's see who the candidates are. Let's start with the two frontrunners, Tony Preckwinkle and Susanna Mendoza. Tony is the Cook County Board President. Side note, Cook County is the most populous county in Illinois and the second most populous county in the U.S. because it includes all of Chicago and its suburbs. So Tony's the Cook County Board President, but she's also the Cook County Democratic Chairman, which historically has been a very powerful position. Her rival, Susanna Mendoza, the current controller of Illinois, basically the chief financial officer of Illinois signing the state's checks. Both candidates come with their baggage that I'll get into when I profile them individually. But Tony's been able to secure some pretty impressive endorsements from unions like SEIU Healthcare Illinois and the Chicago's Teachers Union. There are other candidates with a real shot too. For example, Bill Daley. He served as special counsel for President Clinton and chief of staff for President Obama in the White House. He's also raised more than $2 million so far, beating all other candidates in fundraising, largely because he's a Daley. See, the Daleys are the most powerful family in Chicago history. Bill's father, Richard J. Daley, was mayor of Chicago for 22 years, from 1955 to 1976, and considered to be one of the most powerful men in America. His nickname, Boss. His son, and Bill's older brother, Richard M. Daley, was also mayor for another 22 years. The Daleys have a very complicated history. On one hand, they transformed Chicago into a national and international city. On the other, the elder Daley was known for widespread corruption within his administration and for creating policies blatantly racist towards Chicago's black communities. And the Younger Daily ran up the largest deficits in Chicago history. And those decisions are still affecting mostly poor communities of color today. We'll have to see how Chicagoans feel about another Daily being our next mayor. We also have Amara Enya, who's trying to position herself to be the most progressive candidate on the ballot. She's a community organizer and frankly was considered a long shot candidate until Chance endorsed her and Kanye donated $200,000 to her campaign. There are also other key candidates like Paul Vallis, the former CEO of the Chicago Public Schools. Lori Lightfoot, former president of the Chicago Police Board. Gary Chico, the former board president of the Chicago Public Schools. And finally, Gary McCarthy. Gary McCarthy is a New Yorker and a self-proclaimed conservative Democrat. He was Chicago's police superintendent, but was fired following the fallout from Laquan McDonald's police murder and its ensuing cover-up. Now he's running for mayor. So those are the candidates that I think have a real shot, but if you want to check out any of the other candidates, the Chicago Tribune has a little summary on all of them. If you're following this race closely, you know this is a very surface level introduction. But if this is the first time you're hearing about the race, it's okay to feel a little overwhelmed. Get a feel for the names. You'll be hearing them more as the election gets closer. 
and I'll make more detailed videos on the higher profile candidates pretty soon. If this is content you enjoy, please consider subscribing on YouTube. Um, follow me on Twitter at Boss Chicago and like the Facebook page. I also have a Patreon, so if you want to support this series, that would be much appreciated.